This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. Hi, I'm uh, Tim Wellbanks, agronomy lead with Mazex Seeds. And we're back in uh, um, the cornfield uh, that we were in at planting time. And we're just, uh, basically it's shortly after pollination. So what, I was, what I've been doing here, I've been checking uh, how well it's been pollinated. And you can tell your corn crops uh, pollinated by, by, by looking, peeling the uh, husk back and looking at the silks. And if the silks fall off, the uh, kernels easily, then that, that, that is an uh, indication that every kernel's been pollinated. Um, you can also at this time start uh, counting uh, kernels. Uh, and what I do, I count the uh, number of kernels around the ear and I count the length of the kernels. So this particular ear here that uh, I looked at, it's 14 kernels around and about uh, 30 to 35 kernels long. So that, uh, roughly this ear has uh, 500 kernels on it. And so an, to get an approximate yield, you would uh, uh, take a population stand. So this field here has roughly 30,000 um, um, plants per acre final population. You've got the yield potential of roughly 150 to 160 uh, bushels per acre in this field. Uh, if, if everything is ideal and uh, uh, you, you know, should, uh, should be setting up for a good average yield. You can see here, uh, I've broken open the cob and you, you can see the number of kernels around that are forming. Um, this, uh, this particular field, uh, judging from the stage of, uh, of uh, development after pollination is roughly, it's gonna, going to need another 45, 40 to 45 days to reach uh, physiological maturity on its own. As we talked about in the spring, uh, in this particular field, uh, we set up uh, uh, basically a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, we were looking at um, uh, a new seed treatment called Votivo. So we've got um, uh, strips in this field of uh, Votivo treated seed and non-Votivo seed to, uh, to see if this field has a population of corn nematodes. There's roughly 12 to 14 different species of uh, of nematodes that, that can attack the corn plant. We've, we've done uh, soil sampling in this field and we've sent the samples away. We've not received the results back to see what the nematode population is like. And uh, we're just getting ready to do a second sample. Um, so our second sample, um, we're going to sample both the soil and the roots to see if, uh, of, if there's corn nematodes uh, attacking or feeding on the roots of the corn. So. So that's something special or something a little different that we're, that we're doing in this field of corn. Otherwise, the field is in great shape. It's very healthy. Uh, plants are green. Uh, uh, you know, everything looks to be in good order in this field. Uh, um, there's no particular diseases or insects. I have noticed that there, uh, there's a few little uh, minor insects in the field. Um, the adult corn rootworms uh, are, are present but not at a very high level and uh, there are some, uh, there are some uh, aphids uh, feeding on the silks of the plant. So in my hand I'm holding uh, some ears. Um, this one particular ear you can see how there's been a bit of insect damage, uh, some silk uh, clipping and I'm just going to husk it back to see if uh, pollination had occurred uh, before the, the insects had uh, pruned the silks off. And uh, luckily for, for, uh, for this particular ear the, you can see the silks are falling off easily so pollination has occurred so that silk clipping uh, won't result in any uh, any uh, detriment to yield. And uh, one particular insect that's been uh, more prevalent this season, especially in soybeans, is uh, kind of the adult uh, white grub beetle or uh, June beetle. And they're a very shiny metallic insect. And uh, you, you've seen them quite uh, frequently in soybeans this year. They've, they've uh, been feeding on the leaves of soybeans. So uh, I was quite surprised to find that they were feeding on the silks or, or present on uh, the corn in this particular field. The hybrid in this field is a, is a smart stacks hybrid. So it has uh, 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 BT proteins for both uh, uh, above ground and below ground insects such as corn rootworm, corn borer, and western bean cutworm. 
Um, so uh, overall, there's very little insect feeding uh, in this field. The field is in, in very, very good agronomic condition. Weed control is good. Plants are healthy, so so it should set up for for a, a good uh, final harvestable yield. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.